Good afternoon, my name is Robert, and today I want to talk to you about a feature of Visual Studio that I don't think many people know, and I find it makes working with Visual Studio a lot more pleasant. That feature is the auto load changes if saved option. Before I show you how to enable it and what it does, I'm gonna show you the problem it tries to solve. So I'm gonna switch over to Visual Studio, and I have a simple Visual Studio solution here. It's got a class library and a console application in it, just by way of having some data to play with. And Visual Studio works really well when you're editing in Visual Studio, but if you try to work outside of Visual Studio, it can be become a bit of a problem. So let's go and edit this file in WordPad. And you'll note when I switch back to Visual Studio now, it's going to prompt me to make that to reload the file. And so we can say yes and the changes come in. Uh, that can be quite annoying if you're using external tools, particularly if you're using something like Blend, which you would often do if you're doing XAML development. It can also be annoying with uh, source control tools like Git. So if we roll back these changes, and we'll switch back to Visual Studio now, you'll see it's gonna undo that change again. Once again, we get that same prompt. So it be can become quite annoying to have to keep saying yes all the time to this. So the solution to this is to enable the auto load changes if saved option. To do that, we go to tools, then to options, in the document section under environment, and we enable auto load changes if saved. Now we can rerun these same two examples and you'll see that we, get, we don't get that prompt anymore. As I switch back to Visual Studio, you'll see it will update without prompting. Very nice. And the same for Git. It just removes it, which is very useful. If we had some unsafe changes here, which we could tell because we have not, we still have the little warning icon there and the yellow indicator saying that this line has been modified. And we then went and edited this and say WordPad again. When we come back to Visual Studio, it finds a conflict and says, you have some unsafe changes. Do you want to save these changes now? Or do you want uh, to uh, drop these changes, lose them, and reload the external one? So we could say yes, reload the external one, we'll lose our changes, or no, and we would have kept our changes. So this feature doesn't mean that you risk losing work, or unsaved work, uh, because it will check for that. It only will automatically update if the file is saved. Um, so while this is really fantastic, there are a couple caveats to this, and that is it does not work well on the project file or the solution file. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we add a file to the project, okay, and we'll save everything, and now we're gonna undo that. When we come back to Visual Studio, it's gonna say that the project file, and we, in this case, you know, the updated project has been changed. Do you wanna reload or ignore it? So we'll have to reload. The same is true if we ch make any changes to the solution level file. And so I'm gonna roll back my uh, code here to an earlier check-in. We'll go back to Visual Studio, it will detect that the solution file has been updated. And do we want to reload that file? We can say reload all, and we'll check that. So even with this option enabled, we don't get it everywhere. We only get it to our existing code files, XAML files, things like that. The project and the solution file are not covered by this. That said, I do believe that this feature is very, very valuable, regardless of the fact that it doesn't cover every single object in Visual Studio. So I wanna thank you for watching this quick video on this feature, and if you found value in this, please drop me a line, either via Twitter um, or via my website. Thanks so much.